All right. All right. Let's do... I'm just going to switch to game chat. Um, I'm just joined by Duke here today, but I am fucking him off. Goodbye, Duke. I switched to game chat, but just messaged me when you're um, back in. All right, we are on. So, oh, fuck me, these cams are terrible. Free cam, follow cam, spectate cam, there we go. All right, Ozkiller, hiding back here behind the car. Got Vox and Battered Sav and MJ all there. Ozkiller by himself landing on this side of the map. Where is his team? Nobody knows. Infamous Defcon. Where is he hiding? Not too far. I just didn't see him. Hiding behind the trees. Ozkiller already pushing up quite hard against these guys. Battered Sav on the wall, looking in the completely wrong direction. That's alright. Probably won't be though. Not when not when Ozkiller gets his fucking gun straight and starts pushing in. What have we got hiding here? Just guns, standard guns, M4, Mark 12, SLR, barrel, and ace. Nothing special. MJ out here on the fence, keeping an eye on the open fields. Wide expanse. I've got Ozkir and Infamous Defcon still just out here, just watching. Keeping an eye on things. Oh, use it as bait, mate. Yeah. MJ running towards the sound. Vox taking a look out the garage. About to take some shots. There they go. Hit the car once or twice. These guys already <laughs> getting into this shit with multiple teams. Team 4 holding out on this compound, trying to get some shots on them. 01, Ozkiller and Infamous Defcon go up into the mountains away from the fight. Slay Beast Maximus Prime and Blue Paint out here on the hills all by himself. Not for long though, we've got Team 1 pushing down this mountain. They think they've got a perfect position, not knowing that Red are hiding up here in the trees. Almost like the fucking Vietnamese, but... Yeah, here they go. Let's take a look. Infamous Defcon. You're going to have a shot taken at Maximus. I better watch your left, mate. They're shooting at you. Ozkiller almost down. No idea where he's getting shot from. Blue Paint does the final hit. 27 damage from the side, taking him out. This might be the t end of Team 1. Hitting Ozkiller while trying to shoot Infamous Defcon. Infamous going for the res. Meanwhile, Slay Beast is pushing up hard with a Molotov in hand. Oh no. Infamous Defcon, very unfortunately, missing the shots. Oh, he he choked. Very unfortunate. Munas, Munas, Munnies. Just killed Canty, father. Killed his own dad. What a terrible man. Honestly, can't believe we even have him in our clan. I'm out of wine, which is not ideal. Team 4 and 5 out here in the back. Unsure what team. It's very unusual. So, Canty was the very last player on Team 2. Unfortunately, I did not get any of the deaths of Team 2 on the cam. That leaves player, slapper phase, and Canty all dead without any footage. Slay Beast, Blue Paint, and Maximus Prime holding out in the mountains, but not for long. That zone is going to slowly push them in, and once they get down to zone, there is not much cover. All they've got is the occasional tree. Absolutely nothing to hide them. The guys in Team 5 already know they're back there. As you can see by that shot that Battered Sav had taken. Mushroom Demon, seeing them up on the mountains, taking some shots. Doesn't look too good for Team 3. 
You know, it's also keeping an eye on them. All watching that top. Columbine has pushed in hard. Taken out better Sav. We got Vox and MJ still in the house. Columbine is still alive somehow. Still alive. Hiding underneath the house. He was shot. Very unfortunate. He was shot from up top. Looks. Team 3 has taken them out. Mushroom Demon is down. Voxel saw him coming in through that window and nailed him. Columbine is going to go down. Unfortunately, I don't think there is any way that Mr. Money is going to make it to Columbine in time. MJ is below the house, taking him out. He's going to finish that kill. Not if Blue Paint has anything to do with it, though. Blue Paint finishing the kill from on top of the mountain. Killing him while still outside his zone himself. Only just making it back in at half health. Now it is a standoff. A 2v2v1. Two two Not looking good. Oh, very sorry. There's a 3v2v1. Blue Paint is still alive. I'm sorry, Blue Paint. I forgot about you for a second. Munez is almost down. Taking some shots from Maximus Prime there. Vauxhall and MJ still holding out in their shack. They have not moved since day one. Keeping it safe. Keeping it very safe. You know, still, still just hiding out on the tree. Honestly, it's probably the best option right now. He's still in the zone. And he... While not having any real cover, he does still have an advantage, which he's used to finish blue paint. Taken the shot and finished him. Voxel getting the final shot, but Munoz really getting the kill. Out of ammo, he now has to reload. Voxel is down, taken out by Maximus Prime up on the hill. Team 3 is surviving. By no means are they thriving, but they are getting their worth back. MJ has this has the heel on Voxel smoking out the room for some reason, even though he's hiding in a corner. But I'm not going to judge MJ. Make your call. Do what you got to do, man. Slay Beast running for the drop. What have we got? We got an Orm. That could be really powerful, along with that Gilly with the uh, Swamp Pattern. Mino's still alive out here, trying to keep an eye on Red Team 3, not knowing that they have pushed down hard. Team 3 have really switched this game up. They've gone from a weak position on the top of a hill, a sloping hill, with everybody shooting at them, to having some of the most cover to be able to push towards any possible zones. They've got trees, they've got rocks, they've got shacks. They can push all the way up to Team 5 without any real opposition. We've got... One player out on the far side with two players, Team 5, Voxel and MJ, sitting in the middle. Team 3 holding their own out here. They're not pushing too hard. It really seems like they're trying to play it safe and get some of those sniper shots off. Whoa! Maximus Prime getting the Orm shot off on Munez. I am shocked the man is not dead. But he's still moving. He still has health. Got that heel off, hiding behind that tree, playing it safe. Don't know why I can't quite see MJ here. MJ trying to keep an eye on Team 3. I mean, that's, it would be the perfect time for you to push up, but very unfortunately, you are not omnipotent. You don't know what I'm seeing. He slowly pushed up to the next tree, just to get a little bit close to the zone. It would be very smart of these two to be watching behind them, knowing that Munez has to push to zone from his positioning. Unfortunately, I think they have slowly forgotten about Team 4, with the bigger threat of Team 3 facing them from the other direction. Team 4 pushing up rapidly, getting a grenade off into the building. Molly, out. MJ, he's hit the Molly. MJ is taking damage, he's currently on fire. Connor says, whoever kills Corvin, good game. Whistle does he know, mate? Can't kill me. I'm the fucking gingerbread man, mate. I'm watching from above like a lord. Like the god himself. No idea that... I'm just watching them like little ants. Minnow's pushing up into the building. Vox knows he's cancelled the res and is watching. 
Minas has got the kill. He is on top right now. Team 4 with 6 kills total. The rest of the lobby only has 5 kills. In this one team, they have 6. With Munez, the last surviving team member, with half of those kills. I really do think that despite being outnumbered, he has the ability to put up a really hard fight for these two. Slaybeast throwing out a grenade. Not sure what the real intention was there, being... 40 odd meters away, but you know, I really can't judge. I don't know what's running through her head. If only I could know, then I'd be able to give you even better commentary, mate. I'd be able to tell you that Maximus Prime is thinking about his wife and kids that left him two years ago, but unfortunately not because he's not thinking about them, he's thinking about his gay lover. Which is the real reason his wife left, not money. Unlike what everyone else thought. Maybe I can read minds. Maybe I can. Mina's keeping it low. Got the sniper shots looking at him. Doesn't look like he has any more heals. His downs are just bandages. By the looks of it, where he tried looking at the inventory of the other guys, he could not find any meds on them either. It is just him, unfortunately. And one well-placed grenade would finish it. Oh, Munez almost got killed. Running Iron Sight on his Vector. Very interesting choice, which did not end up landing him the win. Team 3 comes out on top. Despite that, I really do think that Team 2 has an honourable mention. Columbine PE, a random who ended up joining on the NPA TDM, came out with three kills if anything just makes you feel like we should be a little bit more stringent on who we let join but i don't care more the merrier hey